tonight's game against Nantucket Whalers and the Barstool Red Hawks. Starting for Nantucket, number one, Dwayne Martin. Number four, Carlos Aguilar. Number 10, Jack Halick. Number 11, Carson Wellington. And number 13, Jaquan Francis. And starting for your Barnes School Red Hawks, Dave Pichardo. Rafael Pansconsuelos. Evan Briggs. Evan Fishback. And number 20, Kawan Dessa. Please stand and remove your hats for the national anthem. And now to honor America, especially the brave men and women serving our nation in the Persian Gulf and throughout the world. Please join in the singing of our national anthem. The anthem will be followed by a flyover of F-16 jets from the 56th Tactical Training Wing in Medill Air Force Base. And will be performed by the Florida Orchestra under the direction of Maestro Yaha Ling and sung by Grammy Award winner Good afternoon and welcome to Barnstable High School. As today, the Barnstable Red Hawk boys basketball team takes on Dan Puckett. Daniel Bottolino with you, Barnstable B2B TV. A BB, one of the last to wish you a happy holidays, Merry Christmas. As the boys look to improve and get their second win of the season tonight, or today I should say, against Dan Tuckett, coming out at one and three on the year. The win against Cape Cod Academy, losses to New Bedford, Milford, Milford, and New Mission. Their last game, supposed to come on the 23rd, it got canceled due to inclement weather, the storm that rolled in. This will be their first time playing since on the road against New Bedford. It'll be Rafael Vasconcelos tipping off against Jack Halik. And Barnstable starts with it. Underway on this Tuesday afternoon. Pleasure to be with you. Evan Fishback. Barnstable's been mixing up their starting lineup earlier early this year. To try to get a field. Good cut by Evan Briggs. Can't finish, though. And the rebound for Nantucket Wellington. And a walk. Turnover. Barnstable gets a boost here. Will Robke, the center, got injured in the Thanksgiving football game. Will be back 
for his first game active. We'll see how much playing time he gets. Stay five, stay five, Fish back, top of the key, very tightly. And it's out of bounds, stays here. For a part in turnover. Carlos Aguilar brings it up with Wellington Martin. Francis and Kalik is the starting five for them. Picardo, Riggs, Vasconcelos, D'Souza, Fishback. The starting five for Barnstable. Riggs. Fishback will try a three. Misses. Picardo tried to tip it in. No scoring. And it in. Driving, swings, here's the three from Aguilar. Drills it. That is how you have the first points of the game. Briggs finds Vasconcelos. Briggs drives, lost it. And there's gotta be a walk. Vasconcelos, Briggs, 11 on 11. Good find to Picardo, swings it out, Briggs, uh, fish back to the Souza for three. Both teams hitting a three, three, three early. Let's go. Played close in their last game. Fourth quarter, the game got away from them. First three quarters, they played walking close. You guys were close. Riggs. D'Souza will try again. And hit again. And now a turnover. Briggs. Pushing it up to Fishback. Fishback drives in. Had it stripped away. Safe to out bounds. It stays here. Fishback, the senior captain. Timeout. And tuck it early. Early on, Barnstable two threes. All the scoring has come by way of three. And Tuckett has lost a couple of nail biters. To start their season. This is a very close league here. They lost to Nan or Nosset, 60 to 58, back on the 22nd. Riggs had poked away. So Vasconcelos turns around the J. Can't get to go. And a foul on Barnstable.
Mound in the corner. Aguilar. Here's a three. Rebound going right over the top. Tried to save it out of bounds. Barnes threw a ball. He's dropped two games. Nantucket has to knock it. Good cut to the basket for Briggs for two. It's, so they've had an interesting schedule. Eight to three early. Nosset, the top team. In the Cape Island League, widely considered. The Souza again, this time short. Carter with the rebound, put it up, no good. Oh, bounds, no, it's kept in. Briggs finds fish back. Ricardo back out. Souza, he's a shooter. Gets it back, puts it up. Can't get the bounce. Fish back. No, the Souza comes in to get it. Arnstable rebounded. And a travel. Taylor, Coach Taylor for Arnstable screaming, take your time to his team. Aguilar, running the point. Right, uh, here's a J off the glass, no good. Got it back, Wellington. Aguilar will try a three. Rebound, fish back. Turns it over. Driving baseline. Race. D'Souza turns around, jumper. He has it. Eight. Drive in. Off the glass, they respond. Fast paced. First quarter here, breaks. El Bounzo stay here. Eight L of their 10 coming by way of D'Souza. Picardo, Briggs back to Picardo. Good ball movement, finds Briggs. Can't get to going, no call. That was a hard drive. He just manhandled his way to the basket, couldn't get to fall. And Briggs, bounce past Picardo. Back to Briggs, lost it, off his leg, going the other way. Barnstable has played every game close, even the one against New Bedford, as we mentioned. Closer than the score said. New Mission, they hung with, they were leading after three quarters. Here's a three, way off, but perfect bounce to Aguilar, who had it taken away, back outside. He'll try again, no good again. And that will go out of bounds, Barnstable has it. 2.05 to go in the first quarter. And Tristan Vermette will come in for Barnstable. They'll take the Souza out. Vermette, back to Fishback. They'll get it deflected. Briggs has it. Cardo. And they'll reset, get back into their offense. But he'll promptly turn it over. Arnstable struggling with some turnovers here early. Hey, you go into the zone. 3 2 zone here for Arnstable. Driving. Stripped. Fishback got a hand in there. 
offensive rebound. Couldn't put it in. Hard rebound, Vasquez out. He'll hit Vermet. Fish back. Back to him. Back fish back. Briggs. Didn't know how much space he had. the middle. Aguilar will try a three. Offensive rebound. Dribbled it off himself. No, he dribbled it off of Vermette. Three in the air. Three good. Tied up at ten. This one looks looking like it will be a battle all throughout. Met needs some help. Couldn't find it. The press forces a turnover. And now a walk. Shot clock will be turned off. We have a sloppy first quarter here. Cardo. Back to Briggs. Driving. Lost it. Can't be saved. Press causing all kinds of issues. Moving around the perimeter. Now looking inside. Foul. Committed. I've asked themselves. Team Forskin will come in. He will come in for Briggs. He has a man wide open in the corner. Finally spotted him. Swings it across the court. Good look at three. That will connect and that will end the quarter. As Nantucket will be up 13 10 on a little 6 0 run. And after one, Nantucket 13, Barnes School 10. We'll be back for the second quarter on Barnes School B2B TV. Second quarter just about ready to begin. Barnes School B2B TV, Daniel Bogolino. Pleasure to be with you on this Tuesday afternoon of holiday break here for these two schools. The reason for this early one o'clock start is we're underway with the second quarter, 13 10. Barnes School was up 10 7 just a moment ago, a couple of threes. Barnes School struggling to handle the turnovers. Or drive, swings, three in the air. And they're drilling them now. Aguilar can stroke it. The Suja has eight of Barnstable's ten. He's not on the floor. Cardo drives, hangs, can't finish. Horskin with the rebound. He'll go back up and he'll get to the line. Barnstable, definitely a smaller team. They're quick and fast. Holik will come back in. 
after that miss. He'll come in for Vasquez. Goes one for two. Constable in the press, Halik driving. Swings it back out, extra pass. He's feeling it, can't get that one falling. Offensive rebound, back out to Wellington, who rises from deep and hits. And the three ball is what is killing Barnstable right now on the defensive end. This back. Nearly turns it over. And a 10 second violation. Fishback and Vasconcelos and Ricardo have not come out of this game. Three in the air. They are feeling it now. Time out, Barnstable. The lead has swelled up to 11 as they are on a 15 to one run. Up next for the Whalers, they'll have D.Y. on Tuesday the 3rd, followed by Millbury and Sturgis. And Falmouth, and they, these two teams meet again in Nantucket on January the 13th. I'm going to have the timeout. Barnstable looking to stop the bleeding. Briggs back in. Foreskin. Ricardo tries to give the extra pass to Briggs. Instead, it's a turnover. And a foul on Barnstable. Ford will check in for the first time, as will J.J. Martin. And Darren Thomas. Is... Looking inside to Hoik. Can't get the fall, gets his own miss. But it's wrestled away. Thomas pushes up to Martin. Didn't get the handle. Loses it and turns it over. Hoik going coast to coast. Misses the layup, offensive rebound, goes. Big run here. Turnover. Poked away by Thomas. Marvin Picardo will lay it in. They needed that. Nearly throws it away. Martin, corner three. Missed. Martin with the rebound. Ford. Cardo. Back out to him. Five up three. Three sets. Hits Martin. Can't hit the shot. Good luck though. Driving, Halik with the rebound, and a foul. And his size is killing them right now. Good. 
Verse 13, Francis back in the game. Open three. Got it. Gardo leads forward in the corner. It's Thomas. Back out to Ford. To the middle, Ricardo, three in the air. Got fouled. Arnstable had a 10 7 lead since then, 17 to 6. Free throw. Mrs. Long. Second one goes down. DaCosta will come in for Picardo. Goes one for two, Holik with the rebound. Or one for three, rather. Good crossover. Man, wide open down low. That's an easy bucket. 15 point game. To the middle. Martin back to Briggs. And Acosta will check in. Midway through the second quarter. 29 14, your score. I believe they have the scoreboard wrong. Ford. Thomas in the corner for a three. El Bounzo will stay here. Try to get down with the pasta, it'll stay here. So it's poked free and out of bounds. Marcel trying to, or struggling to get any kind of rhythm right here. Pass nearly picked off. Ford. Inside Thomas. Costa, Martin, drives baseline. As it just blocked. And they have numbers on the break. Tried to go around Ford. He got the steal. Lost his footing. And it's a jump ball. No, Barnesville got the timeout. And with 3.28 to go, 29 14 your score. This is a team that has played from behind a lot this year. Came back. Down from now 13 twice against CCA. Came back from 21 down against Milford in their first game, only to lose by five. Never count this team out. They're gonna have to find a way to combat the size and athleticism of Nantucket. They've also shot the ball very well today. through the second quarter. 
Thomas tries a three. In and out. I got Work in the post. And one. Can't hit the free throw. Costa with the rebound. Ground ball sealed it by Martin. From behind, nearly got st stolen, and now he does. On the break. Alabama, no, that was kept in. Martin flying through. Both teams a little sloppy here. Puts it up. Can't get the ball. Blue ball. Drive baseline, instead turns it over. Thomas on the break. And he will finish. Nicely done. By Darren Thomas lead down to 15. And now, that will bounce, blue ball. Thought about it. Swarm. Thomas. Drives. Angled up. Jump ball. That's going to be Barnesville ball. Now a steal by Briggs, got to Martin. Martin's gonna lay it up and in. Hollington. Four all over him. Thomas all over Aguilar. Right, back down low and ripping it away with Thomas. Around it, the back to Martin, who can't handle the pass. Bounce pass, hangs and finishes. Or Tried to dribble through the fenders, didn't work. That's gonna be an easy two. Now a reach on Francis. Thirty-seven. Seconds to go, so they can't hold for the final shot, but they can get close to it. Down 17. Ford rises from three. Short. And he'll commit the foul. Pass, Francis, Kalik for two. Oh, 
Briggs to four. Lost it. Stays here with three seconds to go in the half. Astro Martin's gonna have to throw it up. Short, and that's how the quarter will end. That's how the half will end. Barnesville down 19. We'll see if they can come back in the second half. That's coming up after this on Barnesville BGB TV. Ninety-five percent of teens have access to their smartphone. On average, we are spending seven hours a day on our phones. A recent report showed we'll spend nearly a decade of our lifetime staring at our screens. This is affecting us. The rise in phone usage and social media addiction correlates with the sharp rise in teen depression and suicide. We need to change. We need to spend less time on our screens and be more present in everyday life. Life, not likes. If you or someone you know is struggling with phone addiction, call the National Helpline at 1 800 662 HELP. Did you know that 1.2 million Americans identify as non binary? Someone who doesn't identify as male or female is non binary. Gender identity is a completely different concept from sex and sexual orientation. There are a lot of terms you'll see thrown around when talking about gender. Sex refers to what someone was born with. You'll see certain terms like assigned female at birth, AFAB, and assigned male at birth, AMAB, but this doesn't identify who they are as a person. We're commonly led to believe that gender is a binary, male and female only, but not all cultures have a binary system. There are more than two genders in different cultures. A pronoun is a part of speech used to replace a noun in a sentence. Some people use pronouns to express their gender identity. Gender neutral pronouns have been used since the 13th century, originating with Shakespeare. Someone left their phone. I hope they find it. Oh, yeah, no, that's theirs. Gender identity is a very personal part of who we are. It's how people perceive and express themselves in the world. A dead name is a name that somebody was given at birth, which they no longer go by and does not confirm their identity at all. Sexual orientation has to do with who someone is attracted to both physically and romantically. Gender has to do with the social construct in society regarding women and men. This public service announcement was made possible by Barnstable Educational Television and the Gay Straight Alliance at Barnstable High School. Definitely shouldn't have worn these pants today. Oh, oh my gosh, sorry. I so in my face. <laughs> I farted in your face? No, your butt was in my face. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh my god, I keep doing that. I, I think I had Miss Cass first. Love Miss Cass. Oh no, our table. It's broken. Oh no. Can you shut up? Yeah. Then I had, I think I had Mr. Shea after that. Happening, they were like, put this thing on, go out. It I'm so scared. I'm so scared. And, and then I went out on the wrong side. Everyone wants to know, I'm wearing a child size sports bra right now. And then I apparently wasn't even out on the field at that point. And I'm going to throw up any minute. Let's go, Caroline. And then my coaches got mad at me for it, so I feel like they should formally apologize. Because they formally apologize. I'm gonna puke up my Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah! Beat the burrito after this. You know what sounds so good right now? Sweet waves. Hannah, what are we doing? 25. Just stop your crying. It's the sun. Go, Ella. I can't do this today. Sign of the time. Okay. She's coming down the field pretty fast. She got my bags. Oh no. Should I give up? Or should I just keep chasing Caitlin's? Oh, good play by me. Ella, get away from me. Ella, I'm on Ella. This thing weighs a thousand pounds. This thing weighs a million pounds. Ow, Ella. 
Awkward. Ding. Oh no. Ding. Hi, I'm Reagan Hicks. I play forward and I'm the captain of the field hockey team. So a few years ago in 2019, we had Nick Bowman, who was a transgender player on our team. And he was one of the most supportive players I've ever been with. And he was a great teammate. So we started the Pride game to represent him and show that we include everybody on our team. And it really grew through the past few years. And it's one of the most exciting games of the season. Everybody's so supportive of each other. We're all so happy to be here, considering last year the rules were so different, and now we're just all so happy to be there, and we love to just be together as a team. Um, so we're currently 6-5-2. and two. The second half of the season, we've been looking so good. We've come out strong every single game, and we're getting back at teams that we lost to in the first half and we're just looking really well as a team. It's so rewarding to just see the younger girls come in with such a positive attitude and be able to help them grow their love for the game and just teach them new things. And they're all so happy to be there. I just love spending time with all of them. I've had a great time these past four years playing with this team. I wouldn't trade anything for this team. Each year we've had the most supportive teammates. Coaches have been great. Um, I just love everything about this program and I will miss it a lot, but I'm just so thankful for all the memories I've made. So we have senior night tonight at six o'clock on the baseball field. It's gonna be a huge game against New Bedford. Come support your seniors for one last time at home. Hello, my name is William Doherty, and I'm the current club leader of uh, RPG Club. Uh, my name is Jeff Beaumont, and I'm one of the heads of RPG Club. Uh, hi, I'm Brendan Jackson, and I'm a I'm like one of the seniorest players in RPG Club. RPG Club is basically a group setting where we all meet together to play role-playing games in general, usually Dungeons and Dragons. A space where you and your friends can get together and not have to worry about anything but playing a game for two hours. A place where a bunch of kids with the same hobby go to have fun. I feel like RPG Club can be called important because, I mean, first off, it's just kids getting together to do math outside of school. and that, That's kind of like an educational thing, but also it just provides a safe space for people to meet together and share enthusiasm for their hobbies. I think it's important because it lets a whole bunch of people express themselves in ways they couldn't at home. You know, you can make a character and be who you want. You don't have to be yourself. So if you're interested in RPG Club, you could go Tuesdays in the Junior Senior Calf.
And welcome back. Second half just about to begin. Barnstable B2B TV. Daniel Bartolino with you. Barnstable down against Nantucket in boys basketball action. 37 18. As they look to come back here in the second half, it's been Nantucket's size and three point shooting that's been killing them early. Nearly a turnover there. Say he gets it to Wellington. This is their largest lead at 19. Down low, Halik blocked by Vasconcelos. Good start for Barnstable. We've got some work to do. Vesa, who had eight out of their 10 in the first quarter, hasn't been in the game since about two minutes to go in that quarter. Here's a three, short, and a foul. Poke free, back out to Ford. Tries to turn the corner, can't. He'll pull it back out. That's Thomas. Working around the perimeter, try to beat the zone. Briggs, back out, Dessa. 17 on the shot clock. Dessa drives. 10 on the shot clock. He'll pull, no good. They're gonna just have to start hitting their shots here. And he will step out of bounds, turnover. They're getting some stops here. They're gonna need to get some buckets. They'll score 21 to eight in the second quarter. Thomas, Briggs, back out to Ford, who drives. No whistle, stays here. Leak was right there. Sixteen on the shot clock. Bounce pass. Husky Sells swings it all the way back out. Ford. Briggs. Steps back, puts it up. Once again, no good. Poke free, rolling to Helwick. We'll take it in, and offensive foul, no bucket. Down is four. Four. Briggs. Through the hands of Kinsel Brass Kinsellis. Through his hands and a turnover. Both teams turning it over here. Frequent amount. Thomas. Breaks back out to him. Thought about the shot. Picks. Vasconcello swings. Dess up for three. And a foul on Briggs. And Tacosta will check in. For Barnstable's first sub of the half. Stacking. Offensive foul, no travel. Once again, their defense 
figuring it out. Their offense, not so much. No buckets in the half. Kicked out of bounds. Thomas. The middle. Briggs back outside. Dessa will try. And hit. Big shot. Drives. Hangs. Short. Rebound holy. And he'll get fouled. from underneath. Corner three. They respond. That's a full set to Briggs. Thomas. Thought about it. Nearly picked off. Dead Briggs. Back corner three. Thomas. Bounding around. Now on the fast break. Layup is good. Largest lead. They have doubled up Barnstable, 42-21. Throws out of bounds. Martin will come back in. Bounce pass. It's too easy right now for Nantucket. Thomas drives and finishes. Timeout Barnstable. Forty-four twenty-three. Your score. Barnstable looking to put to a run together and get back in this. They can't seem to have find success on offense and defense at the same time here. Coming out of the timeout, we'll have it. Looking to get in, it does. And Thomas gets the steal. Thomas has got to be fouled. Thomas will be shooting too. Cardo will come in. This is the first. He will come in for four. Misses both. 
Rebound comes to the Costa. Who's going to get fouled? And he'll go to the line. Constable's free throws hurting them here. They go 0 for 4 on those two, two tries. Rises from deep. Twenty-four point game. Martin attacks and is blocked. Cardo gets it back. Costa gets his own miss, puts it in. And nearly a steal, instead it's a foul. Free throw is good. <laughs> but it hits both. Steal. And one. Lead is 27 here. Swelled up quick. Martin. Cardo to the middle. Good ball movement results in a Thomas try. Tracks down his own miss. Drives. Can't lay it. And that leads to an easy fast break and an easy two. Martin turns it over. The lead has swelled to 31. Fifty-six, thirty-five, one thirty-two to go. Only the third. This guy has gotten out again real quick. Some, so, some kind of fight in this one. Barnesville's next game will be versus Foxborough at home on the 30th. They'll have to get ready for that one. Called by Ad. Martha's Vineyard. Fish back into the game here. They break the press. Costa is fouled.
Power up. Swings it. Fish back to the middle. Ford tries a three. Hoek just having a field day right now. Did have it taken away. Costa can't finish. And number 12. Clean. We'll check in. Looking for some help. Somehow found it. And off to the races they go. Rises. There's only so much Barnstable can do there. Good pass. And that's a foul. been a frustrating afternoon for the Red Hawks. Free throw, no good. Barnstable has missed their last five. Gets the roll. And has a man streaking down the court. That's going to be an easy two. 61 26. Now a turnover, and they're getting really sloppy now. Looking. Good catch there by McQueen. And he's got to travel. Shot clock turned off. Good bounce pass to Ford. Crosses over. Corner. Thomas couldn't get a handle. Feels like they're just going through emotions now. Clean. Trap and spell bounce. Bounce pass Picardo puts it up, short. Barnesville hasn't been hitting their shots, that uh, has not helped. That three, way off. And we head to the fourth. Barnesville down a billion. We'll see what happens after this.
Welcome back. Fourth quarter set to begin. Barnes Bowl is trying to show some kind of fight here. Down a bunch. Good find to the middle. That's good. Music still playing. Really makes this feel out of control. As finally turns off and Barnes will have the ball. Thomas. That's what tell us in the corner. Eight on the shot clock. Four drives. Thomas spins, hangs. Nearly got the bounce. Oh, bounce. Somehow that's Nantucket ball. Gets right by Thomas. Gets to the line. Free throw's no good. Goes one for two. Cardo was looking for four. Still stay here. Tried to get it to Vasconcelos. He wasn't looking. It deflected off the defender's leg. Rebound comes out to Fishback. Cardo on the break. Cardo will lay it up. No good. Following there is Vasconcelos. Their effort still 100% there. They definitely deserve credit for that. Faked it. Now we'll take it. Drills. Book three. Stays and tuck it ball. Driving and clean for two. Long pass to Ford, who will go to the line. Free throw is not falling. Checks in for Thomas. Short, tipped around. Now a steal from Fishback. Good find, Vasconcelos. Now 
And an offensive foul. Back to the middle. He'll try a three. Short. And then Tuck is able to get back. Offensive rebound, foul. No good. Goes over two, offensive rebound, but a foul. And they're in the bonus, so Barnes will shoot free throws. Definitely not been their biggest problem. Their free throw shooting has been very poor. you. Final score of this one will not reflect the capabilities of this Barnesville team. It's a team that can compete with a Nantucket. Just not today. A team that will get better as the season goes on. Martin drives, puts off the glass. Malik trying to take it himself. No dice. Ford, pass to Picardo. Good fake. No quit from the Red Hawks. Major props deserved from that. I think the way they played in this fourth quarter and in the first quarter much more accurate to this team's potential than they in than the second and third. Found its way of Vasconcellos, no good. Picardo, rebound, fish back, three. And a foul. Foul's racking up midway through the fourth.
Free throw is good. Tuckett making a sub here. Wild two. 30 point game. Steal. Hanging. There's sometimes they just can't do anything about it. Ford, tough layup, couldn't go. Steal. Martin takes himself and gets it. Wedgie. I don't think he was expecting the defender to back off like he did. Puts it up. No. Martin the other way. Finds Picardo. Gets his own miss off the block. Picardo will try a three. Off the mark. When you look at the field, field goal percentages at the end of this game, it's not going to be exactly even. Blocked. Martin. Votes it no good. Fouled, and he'll go to the line. Barnstable will make some subs. Two thirty four to go. Will Robke check in for the first time. Uh, a little bit jumpy. Free throw. Bad out bounds. to him for three. Driving. Follow up jump. Or no, out of bounds. Going the other way. Pass from Forskin. Drives. Rebound going the other way. Rob Key. Lays it up. No good. Got a little lost. That will result in a corner three. A foul on Vermette. Who just almost threw the uh, Nantucket player out of the building. Throws 
gets the roll. No good. Offensive rebound. Back to him. Off the glass. No. Offensive rebound. Their size. Too much all night. Upkey battling on the floor. It's a jump ball. It'll stay here. 93 seconds to go. Picking off the pass is Briggs. Briggs will try to dunk it. Missed it. Just kind of in between there. We've seen him, him uh, throw it down in warm-ups. Pin there, gets the miss, gets blocked, and it's not his day. Three in the air. Rebound, Briggs. A minute to go. What will be a tough loss? Up key. Throws it off the defender's face. Puts it up. Won't go. <laughs> what is going on? Both teams trying to get their players that spend, have spent most of the game on the bench. Buckets. For Matt. Riggs. Dessa will try a three. And drill it. And that's going to do it. They'll let the final seconds tick away. What will be a 75 to 42 Barnstable loss. As that will do it for us. Thank you for watching Barnstable B2B TV. We'll be back for the next one. Till then, I'm Daniel Bonalino saying good night from Barnstable High.